so welcome back to the channel again so i'm going to redo the video i did not long ago because <clears throat> i didn't hold the camera up enough so again this is the map of Banadorm, um and of course you can see the scale of the ponyente beach and the levante side so where i've stayed before at the pelicanos that is over on this side the sole pelicanos ocus right which was used in the Banadorm series um so that was where i stayed last april so just up here is where Banadorm's answer to greg's is located um let's see if i can get on the map on the street view i mean so it's literally just up here I'll zoom it up Benidorm's answer to Greg's, there. Another one of the Mac Master's favourite restaurants, um, and they serve, obviously, English food, baguettes. You can have baguettes, and they do airport pack-ups as well. Um, and you get tea and coffee, you can get that, so it's nice to go there. So that's about that. Uh, you've got Mateo's Bar, um, which is owned by Darren, who wrote the Benidorm series. That's located in this street. Um, it's literally there, Mateo's Bar. So and this is back towards the um, the Pelicanos that way. So apparently Mateo's is open from four o'clock in the afternoon. So I will probably go in there on Tuesday afternoon. Um, Darren may be there. I don't know. If you don't know who Darren Litton is, he co-wrote the Van Dorm show and also had cameo roles in it. And he also co-wrote the Catherine Tate show. And he's been in other programmes as well. Um, I believe like some soaps like Coronation Street. But he's... Um, he's He's the director of the Benidorm series anyway. That's what he's well known for. So moving on from that, um, the Benidorm Plaza is located just here. So street view. Um, I'll show you the hotel. That's basically it there, the blue building. So, um, and if I move past the parking sign, if you look on there, it says it's a four star hotel. So you'll go into the do in through the doors down there reception areas in here and then it's 17 floors so that's the location of the hotel and if you look down the street that way that's taking you towards the old town over the bridge where that motorbike is on this picture there so um you go down there where those palm trees are and that'll take you to the old town so it's literally two minute walk maximum so we're now into the old town on the street view so and obviously this is the bridge so the plaza is just behind this building that's another hotel you can see from the plaza. So where Pinocchio's is just down here, <clears throat> I'll show you that, the ice cream place. Come into the old town, um, down here. It should do it, it did it last time. Ale Hop Shop, that's another well-known place that people like to go. So there's Pinocchio's ice cream parlor, just there. So if you go right, it'll take you to the Dove Park. If you go left, you can get to the balcony. So we'll zoom out and head down to the balcony. So this is the Placa de Castel. So this is what the balcony looks like, ignoring the, all the uh, works. So there you go, Placa de Castel. So you can walk up there and you've got a nice view of the Levante side, which is there, the British bars, etc. And you look the other way and you've got the Poniente side, which is the more quieter Spanish area. And there's a couple of bars where you can sit and have a drink. And I've been, I've been to this one and had a beer, had a sangria. You can have food there as well. Um, and if you walk in that direction, you'll get to Sherry's Bar. Um, and of course, if you want to go for a walk on the marina, I'll show you the picture. That's the beach nearby the balcony. There's some steps just here. So Sherry's Bar is just up here to the right off the shot. Go down these steps and you can get to this beach and you can walk along this marina bit here. And I stayed down this end back in March. The Dove Park is located just over there where the doves land on you. And there's a little cart where you can buy some um, feed for them. So if we zoom in now and the mouse wants to, zoom in here onto the square. Um, this is basically the location of where Sherry's bar is. It's just behind these bushes. So it's actually there, that Sherry's bar on the end. The Map Masters highly recommends going there on his channel. So subscribe to the Map Master on YouTube um, as he's got lots of Benidorm footage. And of course, he goes to that bar at Sherry's. Um, so there's another view of the balcony and Peacock Island or Bendorm Island, which you can get boat trips to from the marina, which is located down the steps just over there. 
So, and just one other warning, if you do go to Benidorm and you walk along the Levante side, um, avoid the P-men, which usually put a cardboard box up with a potato on it and a P under it because they will scam you out of money. You never win. They advise you on other YouTube channels to avoid them. Don't even photograph them or video them or get involved. And plus the people that are surrounding them that look like tourists watching them are actually scammers as well and they can pickpocket you. And if you do video them or photograph them, they can get aggressive um, with you and get very snotty with you. So the best po policy is, especially along here, um, avoid them. When they see a police car, they soon clear off. But once the police have gone by, they come back and they put their box back again and they carry on scamming people. And another scam that goes on in Benidorm as well, apparently, is when you're on the beach, you might get people coming onto the beach with a load of drinks um, um, selling you cocktails. Well, I'll warn you, um, I haven't personally experienced this, but I know of ones that have on their videos where they've drunk the drink and they've ended up being very severely sick because apparently the cocktails are made with dirty water. They're not made at the bars. They're made actually in their cars and the water they use is not clean. Um, and obviously they mix other drinks as well and it can make you ill. So avoid that as well. Um, so avoid the P-men, avoid buying cocktails on the beach, um, get them from a bar and, and take them to the beach or just drink them at the bar and then go back onto the beach. Just don't get them off people that are selling them on the beach. There are YouTube videos that do explain all of this. I'm just going off what I've been told by watching other videos. So that's just a bit of advice. Um, but apart from that, the plaza is located just behind the old town. So I've got Tapas Alley to go to which is another beautiful part as well. And it's a lot more quieter than going um, into um, the Levante side. So when you come away from the Levante side, you'll come up here past this tourist information place. You go up there for the balcony and you carry on down this street here, which actually takes you straight to, funnily enough, Tapas Alley. So that's one of them. La Carva Aragonese is a tapas bar. Um, you've also got You've also got some in there. You've got this one here. Um, there's another tapas bar just around the corner, um, just here. Rincon de Ribera, I've been to that one. There's also Oliver's Bar, which is a British bar. And then obviously that takes you back to the Levante Beach. So um, it's a nice little area to visit. So that's just a bit of advice on Benidorm and also the location of the plaza. So um, I've watched a couple of videos on about the plaza and it looks a very nice hotel. Um, plenty of choice of breakfast and food. The rooms are nice as well. You've got a good view of the city of Benidorm looking towards the Levante side, the old town and the Ponienti side. So I'm going to be having a couple of nights there next week. The weather's looking good. So subscribe to my channel at Carlsmith25. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's give you some idea of what, what I'm going to be enjoying when I'm over there next week. So thank you for watching and good evening.